Get it, man. Yes, sir, man. JOP's on the cruise show. Real 92.3. How you feel, bro? Man, we happy to be here. Happy to be outside. Man, look at you, man. We outside. That's a lot of jewelry. That's a lot. Yeah, just a, you know, just a little bit of the, from the hard work. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's crazy, man. Where'd you get that? Glendale Gallery? Nah, nah, chill. Don't downplay it on me. Where'd you get that at, doggy? That's crazy. Everywhere, you know a little bit. few different spots, a few different yeah. spots. Yes, sir. Did you pay attention to how his face, uh, you know, shine when he heard the hip-hop track, yeah. the trap record? Yeah, man. A lot of people don't know that you have this fascination with hip-hop, dog. And, yeah, yeah. like, where does it come from? Your love for hip-hop. You know, where we born at, man? California, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, we were, we grew up listening to all, every, all that, you know? Yeah. Tupac. There you go. Everything. Everything that was popping. Lil Snow. Wayne. Mm -hmm, Lil Wayne. You know, Drake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are you still, like... On a mission to to put out like hip hop records and 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 have them have the reception that your regional records like, would you receive. Do a song with Dr. Dre. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I do it for fun, bro. I do it for fun and to let them know, everyone know that, man. You know, we we are, we we just we are like we from the same place. We might just be from the from different roots, different blood. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but sir. we all American at the end of the day and. You know, we're just Mexican Americans trying to rap. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing, man. But, you know, I, but I put that track in the album because I, I thought it was good. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was like, this is a good track, and I and I like hip hop and rap, so I, I knew it was a good track. Probably not a you know a hit or something, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But. No, nah, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was good. And when you do something like that, you're living out a dream, Damien, right? Like it feels like you're living out your dream. Yeah, it's like, it's like I could do this now. And I could fuck around and like I got like a couple hits on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna just drop this. It says right there, like I've been done the corridos, you know. So yeah. I had to switch it. You your catalog's I mean? extensive, dog. But if you if you would like take a glance at it, what do you think is your most underrated track from from the from, from, that, from, from the album, La Baby de Balicada, or your whole catalog? <clears throat> It is, but what do you got a shitload of songs? Last time, yesterday I was <laughs> okay. The album, the album, the album, the album, the album, the album. From the album, the one that didn't get that much attention, I feel like it was. There's always that one where you're like, "Damn, I thought that was gonna be the hit." Man, to be honest, a lot of them are getting. I, I was just talking about that earlier. Mm. The album, a lot of songs. I think I got more than ten hits in that motherfucker. <laughs> so it. I think all of them are getting their attention. Some didn't get as much as others. Sure. But probably the Chuyin track. Bro. The Chuyin? The, the, you know how I got that, that little puppet? Yeah. I, got, I did a track with the, with the homie. So I did a track with him. So probably that one didn't get that much attention. You guys should go check it out. Oh, Fuerza Regia featuring Chuyin. It's about to get that It's hard. Now. Let's go. It's hard. And, and, and what do you think is a track that, like, maybe you you were kind of iffy on putting it out, but, like, it, got the, it, it was received well by the fans? Iffy on putting it out. But like it did some shit. Usually it becomes a hit. The one that you don't want to put out. Sometimes it'd be like that. that. Yeah. Like if you're putting it out, man. And this is again, we could dive through your whole catalog. Uh, yeah, of the albums. But let's say I'm, if I'm talking about that album, Pala Babies, I didn't feel iffy about none of those because okay. I, that's why it was thirty tracks. Because yeah. I was like, you know what, I Fucking like them all. Crazy. Thirty in. tracks is confident as fuck. You know bro. what I'm saying? Yes, and, I, I, and I was like, I like them all. We're going in. But hey, on the other question, I got a, the other song that didn't get uh, the like love. That, that, that got underrated on the other question. It was on Freaky Freaky too. Freaky Freaky? Mm. The reggaeton we got we did right there. That one that one got underrated too, I think. <laughs> Crazy. Where does your your fascination for different cultures and sounds like come from? You just global, right? I'm assuming that's the mindset. I mean, man, we just like music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're gonna do everything. We'll do cumbias, banda. I I, I love all the genres, bro. So yeah, this man gets to it. Huh? You gotta get to it. Yeah, man, of course. So we like everything. So Yeah. We just all right now that we're do right now we're experimenting a little bit with everything. So now we just put a little bit of our sauce of what we of what we do into into the genre. You know. Did you ever do like a reggae song or? Man, I'll do anything. Whatever, dog. As long as, as, it, as, long as, as, long as it, it sounds good. Yeah, as long as it's hitting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Yo, this tour kicks off in June. Oh and yeah, we haven't even LA. talked about the tour, no, huh? We gotta get to the tour, man. The yeah. tour, yeah. Tickets are on sale now, by the way. Uh, the tour will sell out. That's a guarantee. So you gotta act fast, right? It starts uh, in Austin in June, and then wraps up here in Los Angeles into it Dome in November. Yo, you guys are invited, man. Come on, let's go. Bro, let's get go. ready with the, li with, you know, prepare your livers and everything. That's right. Hey, right. don't fall in love, baby girl. That's the name of the tour. But I'm not an amores. Uh -huh. you know why were you on your toxic shit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, What's up, dog? I mean, it's more, <laughs> it's more for everybody. You know, it's like a message. Like, don't fall, in, but but don't fall in love. You know what I'm saying? Like my dad always said, "Pero no todo el amor y no todo el dinero." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just, it's just right. You gotta just, have that balance. Just dude. don't fall in love, baby girl. Just cause I bought you a bag, don't fall in love. Nah, <laughs> hey, who were you courtside with the other day? Huh? Who were you courtside with? 
<laughs> we were just outside, you know. Nah, nah, who? You know what I'm the, saying? Uh, the, the, the internet that's wants it. to know. I'm just, I'm just doing my the due internet diligence. Knows. The internet, no, nah, man. We just, we were just outside with some friends. You know what I'm saying? We just stepped out for a little, yeah, just a little a bit. Pero no te enamores. Just don't find a love, baby girl. You know what I'm saying? Some of your friends are fucking finest. <laughs> Some of your friends are bad, man. Dog. You know what can I say? I mean, we gotta be around, you know. That's it. Everywhere. You know Having but not but. Inspiration. But we we. It don't matter about the looks, you know what I'm saying? Hell nah, but well, it helps a little bit. Yeah, hey, right? It helps a little bit. You gotta you know what I'm <laughs> You get a cyber truck. <laughs> yeah, man, we got the cyber truck, bro. Yeah. We had to get it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that yeah, shit look dope. You keeping the stock color? I like it. I like stock right now. I probably just all my fleet's black, so I probably mm. put it black in a little bit. Why? That run you, bro. I got the hookup, man. Ah, easy. Uh, oh, you texted Elon? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elon. Oh, <laughs> hey, he calls him Elon, not even El- <laughs> Elon. It's Elon. Mel- Elon Musk. Elon nah, Musk. man. But I've been ordering that shit for the longest since like fucking. It's back stock, no yeah. shit. Back but, order. But my mind wasn't coming in yet, so we had to we had to tap in right there. With the, with the... What's that conversation like? Because you have access to a lot of things now that I'm sure, growing up, you probably dreamed about or didn't even think you'd have access to. But like, what's that conversation like? Who do you reach out? To make that happen, we have the Tesla guy right there. We have another Tesla, so with any problem we have with the with our old Tesla is just like you know we just got hooked up right there, and then we just call them. Hey, my boy wants a Tesla. I think my my assistant called, so it's a, I got I got to give it up to uh, my assistant Alex it, Gordo. It was because of him, you know, he's I the one that made the car and shit. You need a Rav Four Hybrid Toyota. Those <laughs> shits are fire. Which one? I have one Rav Four Hybrid. <laughs> a Toyota. Toyota. Probably, hell yeah, I gotta. Is it to be low key and shit? On gas, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Helps the economy and the earth. You know what I'm Fuck saying? Fuck yeah. I, 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 I'm trying to get a. I'm not gonna say what car, but I'm trying to. I'm gonna get a. It's a van. It's a van. It's a van. Ah! I'm not gonna say what van, okay, and, and I'm gonna okay. be a little pro in that motherfucker. You know Astro! I mean? That's right. It's got to be an Astro, ah, right or wrong. That's Charles. the old school one. Like, old school and now we're in or the it, Windstar. It's, it's a newer, it's new school now. Ah, but the, uh, yeah, I, I got to be in the new car. You know what I'm saying? But yes, but it's gonna be low pro. It's just we don't want to break. Imagine down. Imagine no, an Astro van murdered out, G. Low key, that's dope. I should just get trendsetter it. shit. Yeah, I gotta yeah. just get one just cause. But but we can't. We already. I, I think that's like if you if you see JOP and even the salsa we already. Hey, cut this shit out the interview, dog. Hey, bro, you're from Riverside. No, no. born in Riverside. Born in Riverside. We moved to San Bernardino. Got raised in San Bernardino. After yeah. that, man, like 14, 15 years old, we moved to San Bernardino. Yes, yeah, sir. Were you a good kid in school? I was. Yeah, I'm a good kid. I, I was raised by good parents. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we, we, you know, kids are kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. did my shit. Yeah, the IE's different, bro. Yeah, man. Y'all the eyes, the eyes. It's, it's a different it's a kind of breeze, yeah. bro. First McDonald's was in San Bernardino. San Bernardino, yeah. Rolling Stone's first uh, U.S. show was in San Bernardino. Fun fact. San Bernardino, and, and, and that show was like one of the most dangerous. Oh, that, <laughs> being part of that, you know, being part of that. <laughs> have, yeah. you, have you sold out a show at the Glen Helen? Would you? I haven't done a show in San Bernardino because I got something planned. Ah. So I've never done a show in San Bernardino. The first time I did a show, the only time I did a show was when I really popped off. With the Radicamos, like yeah. six years ago, yeah, we did a flyer party because it was already locked in. And then like, I, I told the managers, like, hey, I got to do it. All right. So I did it. But I've never done San Bernardino no more. It was at the skate ring right there in San Bernardino. We, we used to do flyer parties right there. It should burn down now. Yeah. Nice. What? So pretty much I haven't done a show in San Bernardino no more, you know, because it burned down where I yeah. perform. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, but that's on a to-do list. I got some shit planned. Like, it's, it's not going to be a regular show. So Special. I, like I got something planned for my hood, for San Bernardino. And that's why I didn't do Glen Helen. I, I I said I don't want to do no show in San Bernardino. I, if I do something in the hood, I do it in Ontario. For sure. So all my people from San Bernardino come through. When I go to San Bernardino, it's gonna be you know. For sure. Do you remember special. how to do the pledge of allegiance? Hell no. <laughs> you don't remember it? <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't even know it. You remember? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Boom, that's it. Oh, wait, I pledge allegiance. To the <laughs> how you gonna ask the question, Doug? And you don't even know the Hold fucking on. answer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America for which it's. No wait, I pledge allegiance. <laughs> to I pledge allegiance. If anyone knows it, feel free to <laughs> in the comments. Doc. From there, I, I would just say that, and then from there, I'd just be like, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What happens is you just look down. You know what I mean? It's Sometimes avoided. I want to get up, and then they try to get you in trouble. You know, <laughs> going back to school. Favorite subject of all time. Say favorite what subject? What is that like? Math, science, oh. theater. Okay, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Band. Probably no one really knows about it. I don't think I've told anybody about this. I wasn't too good at school, you know, like D's and C's, you know, F's. But I did pass one class with A plus. Mm. It was economics. Oh, okay, makes a lot of sense. So that's that's the one I did, and my 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 teacher actually, even my counselor, they all pulled me to the side of the A. I'm wondering like. You cheat here, or or what are you doing? <laughs> and I was just, I was just like, I just like this class, you know. They were like, why don't you perform like this in your other classes? Yeah. I was like, 
all that, you know. I don't know. I, I, I didn't really think about it back then, but now that I think about it, it's probably I was just bored as fuck in other classes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what about money? Was it that that interests you? I mean, I've been. I think everyone is interested in money. <laughs> Since I was young, I, I was like, man, because you know we didn't have too much. Absolutely. You know? So you see a car, and I tell my mom, like, I want that car. You know, and I was telling her, I'm gonna get it when I'm older. And I was a little kid. So I mean, it's, it's just everything. We are, I wanted that life, you know. Oh, yeah. we want to get this, we want to get that. So, but I mean, it was about credit cards and shit. So I, I, I want to be smart. Like I was like, I'm, I have a, I'm a, I want to get a credit card. I had just gone, actually, to try to get my credit card. So and then I got that class. It was only one semester. Who was the first person to give you credit? What? What? I got um, a Coast Bank card. Bank of America. Bank of America. But I did the three hundred. Like I, I had to put three hundred, and I had to like manage my own. 300, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. That's how I started. I was geeked out. Coles gave me a $100 credit limit. Yeah. I was so happy, dog. But I had to build my credit. Curacao gave me my credit. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't right there. You, it's all bad. Bro, I got a love scene. You, pay, you, you paid everything good, though? <laughs> yeah, I paid it off, bro. And everyone, everyone that gets Curacao gets it, fucked. It usually goes bad. It yeah. usually goes bad. So I paid off the mini fridge. You know what I'm saying? And then once, you know, uh, after that, my credit was good. And then I fucked. Hell yeah. I started with 300. My uh, my mom actually bank, opened the bank account. We have a jointed bank account, and, right. and I still joint it to this day. I tell her grab whatever you need whenever. Wow, that's cool. So yeah, I, it's still, with your mom. It's still jointed, yeah. That's yeah, right. My personal account. Is that's dope. Dip into she don't got the account. she don't got the corporate one, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but we joined it on the personal one, and I, I tell her she, she's like, yeah, I know. They always ask me if I, if I want to transfer some money or something, <laughs> and I'm like, go ahead. <laughs> what, but she never touched my money. Ahead. She's never touched it before. Really? She don't. Wow. You know, she don't care, bro. She's that's great, man. You're her son at the end of the day. Yeah, and she she don't care. She never be, you know. Yeah, she's not that type, you know. But you take care of your parents. I try. I, I try the most. They, they, I, I bought them a house. They don't want to move out. Right, right, right. Is it because of their pride or what I, is it? I, my, my dad, you know, my dad. Your dad is your dad. You know. What I'm yeah, 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 dog. Like, I, mean, so I gave him a Corvette. I gave him a Corvette. Gave it back. Yep. Yeah. Of course. That's his he pride. said. You want to buy me something? Give me a truck. I was like, All right. My mom doesn't like the shit though. She like a little Gucci bag, the Louis bag. She likes it. She likes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then man, they love the casino, man. I, I don't know if you guys I, I have to deal my with that. My parents don't do casinos, but yeah. I know a lot of people, a lot yeah, of people. Man, that was something parents. for us growing up, man, casino, man. Yeah. I still deal with it to this day, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get addicted over there, dog. Yeah? You have to pay off your parents' gambling debt? Nah. <laughs> I, I don't do that. Are you your parents' bookie? <laughs> nah, but they be blowing that shit over there. But that's how they do, you know. But fuck it, that's what, that's what they do. I, but that's why I don't give them money for that, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, right. a casino, all that. No, I don't know. What casino do, do do they usually go to? They just man, Mongo. they go everywhere, bro. They they go Vegas? to Pachanga, Vegas. They that's what they do. They're Native American at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the good thing is, they would have won. At least get the. You know, when they win and take the money, but my dad wins of 10 racks, you're blown back out. Like, no! Yeah. It's You gotta know how, pause, yeah. when to pull out. <laughs> yeah, but hey, that's what they have fun with, you know what I'm saying? That's, and but, you gotta let them have that. You gotta yeah, let yeah. Them have that, man. At what age did you find your sound? At what age did you figure this out? That you could sing. Mm -hmm. Man. Going from YouTube to music, that's tough. We've seen a lot of people try, but not everyone's. I, I didn't go from YouTube to music. No, I, went, yeah. I went the opposite. You were yeah. smart about that. That's right. one thing I, I salute I joined you. YouTube. Very smart. Yeah, yeah I, I started with the music, but. Um, well, we were vlogging early, though. Yeah, I, I started. I, I popped off of music and then I started vlogging. Yeah. Who, did, so could help me out. who inspired you to start vlogging? Like, vlogging? You just, because you see, like, that was a way to kind of like inject yourself with the youth. It's great yeah. promotion. Yeah. No, that's how it was. So I started singing because. Um, you know, my dad. My dad likes to sing in like in the shower and shit. <laughs> and then I just started doing the same. He showed me a song, and then from there I always liked to sing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then um, vlogging after I had had my first hit, I got inspired by to vlog. It was from the Jake Paul and all those. They were vlogging and shit. And I I, I seen it was like a good way for, to promote Smart. our brand, us, to our public. It actually helped a lot. It, 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 it would like double my my audience in my shows. And revenue. Revenue, uh, revenue was coming in, and then I stopped, bro, cause I got it, that shit just. It it's a lot of work. Too much. It got me burnt out. Like I was on camera all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, you know, that's why I was focused on music, bro, because For sure. around those times when our music was kind of low, going down too. You know what I'm saying? There was like a small hiatus. I remember. Yeah, and that what? was because we just we were. I was focused on my business, you know, cause. People that don't know, I own a record label, and yep. one of my best coming up record labels right now. I, I, I could say that proudly. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I was learning the record label side. I was doing the vlog shit. It was COVID, so it was just I, I just I, 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 I learned the record label shit. I, I cut off the vlogs and I focused on the music, bro. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever have a regular job coming up?
Hell yeah, I worked right. at 99 Cent Store. Hey. R.I.P. dog. Save the 99, G. Man, you got to invest in it and save it. Save the 99 Cent Store, dog. <laughs> one necklace. <laughs> one necklace and a bracelet. <laughs> don't more, hey, don't motherfuckers got more money than us, dog. Real shit. <laughs> shit. I don't even know how they going bankrupt. They doing that shit because, you know, they making a smart business move. That, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's exactly what it is because the CEO told us it's a $2 billion a year co company. Yeah, yeah they making money. They, so it's a business. They, they're just like, you know what? It's not making enough no more. Just cut it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, They're going to invest Money somewhere else so for you sure. You worked at the 99, where else? I worked at the 99, man, and then I worked, you know, construction. Mm. I did, I did, I was painting goddamn door frames all day. Uh, and then yeah. I, I remember that my, my, my neighbor used to, was the one that brought me over, and I told him, like, hey, I was singing, I'll be singing, painting, because I was already singing, I was already doing my little gigs, but I'll go work, you know what I'm saying? Because gigs were on the weekends. Yeah. So I'll go work, and I'll be practicing, you know, singing my covers, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't write it those times. Just, you know what I'm saying? He's like, what are you going to do? You going to work or you going to sing, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm like, man, what am I doing? I'm, I'm painting right here, bro. Let yeah, me see. Yeah, for sure. And then he just told me, he, he, he probably said that. He, I don't know. He put, he's probably on you know on his rag or something, but that's a homie. That's my homie still. <laughs> Not but, his rag. He was probably like mad or something. Probably didn't get nothing, nothing in the morning or something. But oh but he, he at the end, he was just like, you got to choose one. Yeah. And I chose the music. Fuck yeah. that. I'm not going to throw paint, paint door frames all day, man. Going back to, to a bad day, what do you do on a bad day? How do you change that shit around? A bad day? I just go in the booth, bro. Yeah. Go in the booth, make some music. And then, I mean, get get prepared for Pero Not Tana Motor Store. So, hey, buy your tickets, Ticketmaster. Let's go. I'm going to tell you guys this right here today. Let's go. Um, I might not be touring 2025. Whoa. So you better get your tickets. And that's See it. Him now. You know what I'm saying? Pilas. Ponte las pilas. Ponte las pilas. Win tickets on Real 92.3. You're giving us like a thousand tickets to give away. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going backstage and everything, bro. It's crazy. What's the stage production going to be like for this tour? Okay. Because you're a very you creative Good person. You person. Yeah. Good thing you asked. So thank God the last couple months, I had an EP drop called um, Dolido Pero No Arrepentido. Then I had the Para Las Babies Belica where we have 30 tracks. Man, I could say, like, I don't know, I haven't counted, but we've got, for sure, like, 10 or a little over than 10, like, hits in the last couple months. Yeah. So the cha the show is changing drastically. We're adding all the new, the stuff that you, you heard last year, it's a whole new show. We're 360 now. That's dope. Thank God, that's been my dream. Now we're doing 360. Okay. We got a new show for you guys, and we got new music. So, I mean, you can't miss it. You know what I'm saying? You got to buy your tickets now. How much are you spending on... Production? Yeah, production. we're spending a bag. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's for the fans. I want to, and, I, I, I'm, and I'm trying to do some little special things here and there on certain cities um, where, you know, it's going to be a surprise, but yeah. we're spending a bag for sure. It's, we want to make have it, to, though. Yeah, you have yeah, to. Yeah, this is for them. I want them to enjoy a nice show. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to I'm trying to do this for years. You know what I'm saying? I might not do it next year, but I'm trying to be here for, with you guys for years. So, I got to back, invest back yeah. to you guys. Make sure you guys have a good experience when you guys show, show up to a show. You, you know what I'm saying? Next year, how you're not doing that. Is there a reason why? Is it? I got, I got some, I got some plans. Going I got on. some plans going on. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to like it. You know what I'm saying? I can't say too much, though. Yeah. Going back to the, you know, stage design and stuff like that. Is there somebody that you went to as a, like a show that you're like, yo, that shit is fire. Like, I respect yeah. that. Like that. Who was it? And you go to Drake's show. It blows your mind. Have you gone? I Drake, yeah. I work at a hip hop station, dog. I haven't gone. You never gone? Nah. Bro. That's because English was your second language. Man, <laughs> that's where I got a little bit of my inspiration from, bro. And then um, I, we got with some guys, good produ produ um, production guys. Yeah. They gave me some good ideas as well, and we just went with it, bro. Pyro screens everywhere. Doing a lot of dope shit. Yeah. A lot of dope shit. A lot of a lot of a lot of shit that um, I'm about to beep that out. No, no. I, no you could. Managers told me I can't be cousin too no, much. No, you could. You could. It's fine. You know, I gotta get I, nah, 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 I gotta get those deals, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Sponsorships tap in, you know what I'm saying? Ah, that's we got, right, you know what I'm saying? For the tour, I gotta be, they told me I'm main, I gotta be mainstream this year. I, wow. I was telling Lechero that I'm always inside, you know, at the, yeah. I don't really be out there like that. I be in the booze, working, bro, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Outside of music, right now that you bring up sponsorships, what's the biggest, without saying the number, what's, like, what's the company that's giving you the biggest bag? For an endorsement or a sponsorship, bro, we really don't do sponsorships. We, uh, this so this is this is gonna this be is different this year. year. This is my it's because we never done this. We never had the right people behind us. We like on that side. You get me? We just do music. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my partners. I'm not trying to talk shit to none of my partners, but it's just we never been like, hey, we're gonna go to the next level. Um, we did a little opposite. You know, everyone coming up does all this radio stuff. You know, I don't really come. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been knowing you for how long? But and then we never. Done and it this. was always like an open door, like, like what's up, like what's we're up, homies. But I never done this. You know what I'm saying? Um, and now 
the plan is, hey, man, we got all these number ones. No one's talking about it. So what we're going to do is let's go outside, man. There let's let's go. take these interviews and let's do whatever it got to do. I, I'm a businessman, you know? Yes, we got Chino Pacas popping off. Let's go. Um, talking about Drake. Um, he's he's my partner on, on him and his team on, on Chino's album, you know? Yeah. So Chino's backed up by Drake and all his team making sure that album pops off. Who, who made that introduction? Bro, Drake tapped in with Chino Pacas. Yeah. He just tapped in, bro. Yeah, like a DM, right? Yeah, just a DM, bro. And, and from there... They wanted to work with Chino, you know, but we, we have Chino. Street Mile has Chino, so we're like, well, we can make it happen. Let's make it happen. We did a little something, and now we're partners on this next album that's coming out. Is that surreal? Yeah. Huh? Being partners, bro, that's surreal? Crazy, Who's not bro. a fan of Drake? Man? Absolutely. Come on, Shit, bro. you know, like me as an artist, you got to see me. I'm an artist, too, but I own a label, so I, I respect my my positions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Me as an artist was like, God damn it, what? I wish I would have got the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tino, I wanted the feature. But, but it was like, me as a, me as a uh, owner. Don't get jealous, bro. No, I said also, weird. Nah, 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 nah. Me as an owner of a record label was like, bro, fuck yeah. Chino got the fuck. It makes sense. That's absolutely. Yes, the fuck. And you. it makes us all happy, you know, because we're pioneers. And you know, we've been here for a long time yeah, before man. a lot of people been here. So um, we, we've been working. We've been working hard for our, our music to get and crossed. Over over there. Yes, it wasn't me, but it was a it was a homie and yes, sir. and a lot of other whoever's in this genre. It was one of us though. Yeah, someone someone in the genre is breaking records, bro. So come on, let's give it up it. to everybody. You Absolutely. Know and yeah, as a hip hop fan, does Drake have to respond to Kendrick? Man, I don't I don't know about that shit. Everyone <laughs> no, no, be, no, you do know about that shit. You're nah, a fan, bro. I mean, for the money, I, it was a, for a bag, I would do it. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> <laughs> but I don't That's know. Right. That's yeah. on him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know their beef. God, nah, there's a royal that he's about to drop something. I heard. I yeah. was looking on on Instagram right saw now. Saw it. Yeah. How, how, you stay on the gram. How how much time a day are you on you on the Probably gram? Probably on that shit, bro. And, and then um, I was talking <laughs> to you. What's up, bro? Like, what's your screen time look like? <laughs> Man, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro. But, Scrolling on TikTok. But when, I mean. I'm, when we're working on music, I, I stay away from my phone. Bro. You have to. You have to. Yeah, you have to. Distraction. Yeah. Crazy, but, man. bro, we're fucking locked in. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want to piggyback on the fact that what you said, like, this is something that has been years in the making where, as, like, Mexican-Americans and stuff like that, I'd say you and, and, and everybody at Rancho, and just stuff like that collectively, like, everybody's played a part into, like, normalizing Mexican-American culture into America like you guys I think played a big role in that and you guys have you guys I don't know I've been in, in situations where it was very intentional you guys were like dude if we dress like this or if we work with these directors or we do we're gonna be seen in these areas in these places and I think that's something that it happens behind the scenes but not a lot of people know about so I want to salute you yeah bro shout out to Rancho Mille bro they're one of the biggest they're the biggest Mexican label right now you know what I'm saying that's where we came out of and I learned a lot of shit right there. And I'm, you know, they're my boys. We still got business going on. They're still my business partners. We're locked in. But now it's, you know, Street Mile Records was running FR, Fuerza Regida, everything yeah. behind us is, we, it's always been us on, on the back. Like, but my, 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 my stuff just started, you know? Yeah. My label, you know? So now, now it's us running the, the, the stuff. But man, us being part, being pioneers of Mexican music, you yep. know, just in general, wasn't cool a couple years ago. So coming in and breaking these barriers and, Respect and like throw, throwing it off the roof, bro, and being part of it. We're happy, like me being part, me being part of the Drake stuff, but like that comes from you know from Fuerza, like Chino Pacas came out of Stream Out Records. Stream Out Records was created by us, you know what I'm saying? So it's just it's like they say, you know, they always say like we bought Bitcoin out of dollar, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, 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 let's go. Would you sign somebody that's not a regional artist to Stream Up? Absolutely, course, right? Oh, of course. We, yep. we we've tried to like we were talking about it earlier, like we we. I got some of my artists that are doing rap, you know. Um, Angel Tumbao, one of my artists for the longest, he produces mm -hmm. some of my music. He got a bunch of rap music right there that's dope. He um, And we got all these little homies like Benji, um, all, all the little homies from the hood. They're all rapping. They're all signed to us, you know, but we haven't dropped nothing. We we, we want to show that, that we're just a, we're, we're a global uh, for sure. record label, you know, but little by little. Right now, we're doing what we know best and yeah. little by little, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, it's that hustle, man. Is there a female rapper that you're a fan of? Um, Rapper. I mean, Ice Spice, she's da she, get, she gets down, you know yeah, what I'm yes, saying? Sir. That sounds sick, no? Record with Ice Spice? It'd be hard, yeah. Ice Spice gets down in um, Mexico, Beacaz. She gives down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, but even Mexico, like the whole reggaeton space right now. Bro, Maria, right yeah, fucking. Wow. Mexico's up. It's up, dog. It's, it's up. up. You got Latin Mafia as well. Like, I mean, they're, they're on the. Gordo, um, Gordo, um, Gordo season, he says, we up. 
Oh, shout out to shout out Gordo, yeah. yeah. He says, we up. So up. Yeah, so up. Yeah. Yo, he be touring like crazy. Like crazy. All the videos he posted in South America, I want to move to South bro, America. He goes to, he goes to Tokyo, comes back, and then goes back. I'm like, yeah. bro, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? No kids. But bro, bro, are you going to go to a show or not? Nah? I mean, if you invite me, I'm down. Just go. Fuck yeah, let's go. Or else, bro, you ain't, you ain't going to see Fuerza for, for nah, a while. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bro, let's go. So, hey, don't forget, buy your tickets, Ticket tickets, Master. Ticket Come on, buy your tickets. The tour lands in LA, the Into a Dome. They're not even done building it, and he's gonna perform in it, dog. Let's go. That's what they're saying. Like, we're the first ones or something like that. Yes, you know sir, what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's in Locked November. In. Ticketmaster.com, man. We appreciate the time and energy, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. All day, bro. Come see us anytime, man. Let's see do it. Let's you, do it. You know, let you. The invite's been there. It's always been there. So whenever you and want. We're here, brother. I, I know, you know, we've been locked in, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Took a while, huh? He was complaining, dog, but it's all good. Ya agarramos el rollo, Yeah, let's get it. JLP, Crew Show, Real 923. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus. Download the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out the Crew Show podcast.